you guys welcome back to my channel as you can probably tell from the title we are doing another unboxing today and this unboxing is from one of my favorite anime bl series sasaki and miyano literally love it such a wholesome such an adorable series it's so comforting to watch so i have both nendroids here of both sasaki and miyano and we're gonna unbox both so um make sure you like and subscribe let me know what you think if you got one of these guys let me know how you like them too also let me know in the comments what your favorite anime bl series or you know what it doesn't even have to be anime it could be a manga a manhua or anything really a webtoon whatever just let me know um but without further ado let's let's get started and, and unbox these guys I'll, I'll unbox miyano first just because he did arrive earlier than sasaki he arrived first so we're gonna go ahead and unbox him first um even though he did arrive i think i think he was released a month before sasaki uh I didn't unbox him because I wanted to unbox them together. And now Sasaki's here. I literally got Sasaki in like yesterday or day before yesterday. So I was super excited. Obviously somewhere in the video, I will show you guys what pose I'm gonna have them both in. I do want, you know, them interacting obviously in some way, but in what way, I don't know. <laughs> okay, just, he looks, so cute you guys i gotta be careful because he has that one hair piece that kind of you know those anime characters have and it's like really thin oh and i'm freaking out because i don't know how i'm supposed to take this out okay let me just show you guys how they wrap this so he has that one hair piece that sticks out i don't know if you can see and like there's no way to get it out without ripping the plastic which i hate doing but i guess i'm gonna have to <gasps> ah he looks so cute y'all this one's done by orange rogue which we already know they are amazing with the work that they put into making nendroids and the paintwork everything uh they made the bungo stray dogs i believe all of the bungo stray dogs ones they made the haiku ones which are super popular um I believe they also made the, where are they? The Case Study of Vanitas ones. Sad story about my Vanitas. His little thing broke. Like you can reattach it, but like it's it's not glued on there anymore. So I'm very, <laughs> I'm so upset about that because he's one of my favorites and like I'll forget about it. And then when I look at him, I get so upset because I know he's, he's, he, <laughs> He's broken. Um, but anyways, that's why I'm trying to be careful with these guys. I mean, just first impression, taking this out of the box and everything, he looks adorable. He looks so accurate to his um, character in the anime. And the, the paintwork is so smooth, you guys. It's so clean. He is super cute. He has his little mole on the side under his um, eye. Yeah, he's just super cute. So let's take a look at what he comes with. So he comes with three face plates. Obviously the first one is gonna be the default one that we just saw here. Just a regular smiling pose, basic. And then he has this blushing face, which I love so much, he's so cute. I don't know if you can see the little blushing lines, but they're there. Um, and then we have one more, which is this kind of closed eye blushing smile which I also really love but I'm gonna be honest I don't usually like having I don't like having my figures displayed with their eyes closed like that I usually like seeing their eyes I mean I love how especially because I love how they're painted and everything but like that's also an identifier of who the character is so I'm probably not going to end up using that one with his eyes closed. I'm probably going to end up using one of the two with his eyes open. Even though the default one is a little boring, but like, I don't know. It depends. I guess we'll wait and see. Um, and then moving on to the accessories, he has the little bag that he carries manga in to give to Sasaki. 
there is a little I don't know if you can see that but there are like two dots over there I don't know if it's a little paint mistake or what yeah but I mean it's on the back of the bag so it's fine I guess and then he comes with manga out of the bag uh, there's no title on here or anything it's just like a plain book with <laughs> no title but um, it's cute anyway and then he comes with this I'm gonna be honest guys I don't remember the significance of this I feel like I should but um he has this wasabi it just says wasabi on it uh, and something else in kanji I don't know but he has this little wasabi packet I feel like I'm forgetting something that had to do with this because I don't I don't know the only foods I remember in that show that were significant was the Pocky and the ramune that uh, Sasaki was drinking. That's about it. I don't remember anything about wasabi. I feel like I should, but uh, oh well. Um, so that's what our little Miyano came with. And then I will show you the poses that you can pose him in right here. Hold on. Okay, so on his own, you can pose him with the manga. You can pose him kind of in this like shocked blushing pose and then you can that's another manga one that you can pose him with uh, and then you can have him pose giving Sasaki the bag with the manga in it and then of course them holding hands now let me say let me let me point something out because before I started recording this video um, the given nendroids finally released and it showed everything that comes with them and they came with some pretty good stuff but they also came with hands where you can have uh with uenoyama and mafuyu together and making a heart shape with them and i'll, I'll put it right here somewhere and ah, i wish that sasaki and miyano came with that instead of like i i like the hand holding i really do i love it but like that's kind of like cuter the whole heart thing so I'm kind of wish kind of wish they came with heart hands <laughs> let's move on to Sasaki I feel like when I'm like super excited talking about this stuff I don't make sense I'm just like rambling on and I don't know how you guys understand me if you understand me at all when I'm talking like that like I'll start rambling and then I go to edit my video I'm like what what am I saying um, and I always say it's not gonna happen again and it always does and I'm catching myself doing it right now and I can't stop but um okay just looking at the box and and like the back of the box and the poses they come with and like the accessories they come with I kind of like Sasaki better but then again that's probably me being biased because Sasaki is my favorite out of the two um, but whatever Oh, I remember what I wanted to talk about with this one. I did want to mention something. Watch me forget by the time I take this plastic off. Okay, first up, he looks adorable. So freaking cute. I love him. I love his hair so much. I will point out on the back, it kind of, um, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? It, his hair kind of sticks out. There's like an extra mole, this 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 back part, okay? <laughs> um, it's a little rough painted at the very top, but it doesn't really matter because he's gonna be like this and you won't really be able to tell. But I thought I'd point that out. He does have some like dark to light paint from the top to the ends of his hair, which is very nice. You can see it on the back too. Okay, so it's not just this like plain orange color i love how he has a little hair sticking out i love i love anime characters that have hair sticking out same with uh, miyano i love his outfit i love the layers going on i love how um you'll probably see it in the b-roll but you can see his buttons kind of stick out they're not just like flat on his body they've got some like texture to it which i really like i am absolutely in love with his eyes he's got this cat look i love characters that kind of look like cats they have this like cat 
aesthetic vibe. I don't know what the hell you're even supposed to call it. Super cute. I also noticed on top of him having like dark to light hair, he's got like a really nice, oh, you can see it in the light better, but you see how like his hair kind of shines in the light. It's got this like yellow tint or yellow coloring to it too. I love that. You can especially see it like in person. You can see it where like the creases are in his hair. I don't know if the camera actually picks it up like that, but um, it's super cute. I love it. Okay, so let, before I forget, I just remembered. I wanted to mention something about the earrings. I am so happy that they made the earrings work. Again, you'll see it better in the B-roll, but he's got three earrings that are just like painted splotches. And then he has a hoop earring, which is kind of molded on there. A while back, and then on his other ear, he has two silver painted splotches as well. Um, so a while back, there was this Miku pop-up parade figure where it was inspired by that Deco 20, is it Deco 27 song, um, the vampire song. I'll put it right over here. Um, it was inspired by this art, and then this is the pop-up parade. And the biggest problem with this was that they did not add her earrings in there. And I also mentioned a while back when talking about this that I kind of talked about it on Twitter and how I was like kind of disappointed that they didn't add her earrings in there. And somebody was like, oh, it was either a problem because they wouldn't be able to like mold it on there because it was like too small or it's because Japan really looks down on like piercings and tattoos, which I kind of debunked that with the fact that they made a Vanitas Nendroid and Vanitas has his earring. We see that again here where Sasaki literally has, he's a high schooler and he has all of his earrings, all of his piercings. And Nendroids are pretty small, you guys, and they ended up molding his hoop earrings. And it's not just one earring. He's got like a bunch on one ear and then he's got like two on the other. So they ended up making it work. I just don't know why. I'm still wondering why they didn't do that for Miku. Kind of disappointing. Um, I didn't end up pre-ordering her, but that's kind of something I wanted to point out with this. I'm so glad that they did end up giving him his piercings. There definitely would have been something missing without it. You know what I mean? Like these are such key parts to the character designs and like it, it's so bogus that they would even like consider taking it out but i am happy with this i am like so grateful that they kept his piercings i love them he looks so great uh, he also as you saw comes with a default smiling pose he also comes with with his two extra face plates another one uh that is a smiling face with his eyes closed but with this one what's really cute and another thing I really love with, with, when they do with anime characters is he has this little like tooth super cute I love the little tooth sticking out adorable um I love it so much and then I love this faceplate so much because this is another thing that I really love that anime characters like Sasaki do and it is <laughs> sticking their tongue out. It is so freaking cute. I love it so much. So adorable. So moving on to the other accessories. He comes with a hand that is holding his peach ramune and there's just a peach on there. I love the coloring on this. I love how it look, literally looks like glass, but of course it's not. I don't know, I think it's so, so, it's so simple, but it's so cute, you know? Um, and then he comes with, I think y'all, from my great memory, I believe this was the little um, sack that had the Valentine's Day chocolates in. Is my memory right? Let me know. And then we have, Ooh, these are very bendy. Ooh, I feel like these are gonna break so easily. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Okay. 
uh, he comes with headphones and these go around his neck but again like I said they're like super like like look at this okay I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna mess around with it that much but I just wanted to show you guys so yeah I I mean y'all tell me oh my god they're gonna look so cute I don't even know where I'm gonna put them I'll probably put them next to um Suga but I am absolutely in love with these guys um I am you know kind of um limiting myself with nendroids now and as much as I love and hate them love how cute they are but hate absolutely hate putting them together um I need to be more strict with myself on those I started out collecting with the decision that I wasn't going to collect Nendroids at all and I was just gonna collect scales. As you can see, that did not work out, but uh, I need, I still need to be more strict on myself with Nendroids. I'm not gonna completely stop buying them because I know myself, even if I say it a million times, it's not gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, I, I gotta be more strict on it. Anyways, th that was Sasaki and Miyano, so, um, Future me is gonna go now and figure out what pose I'm gonna put them in. Uh, you already know that because it's somewhere here in this video. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye bye, guys.